We are the Department of Art History. Since 1978, we have been offering classes examining arts from diverse cultures at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. We welcome students from all disciplines and year groups. Quoting freshmen's words, their experience has been truly eye-opening. It's like going on an art group tour. And it's applicable, something that gives you joy in different parts of your life. Of course, along with the fun, there is serious hard work too. But in return, you are nurturing a lifelong love of the arts. Like I said, we examine arts from diverse cultures and time periods. European, Chinese, Japanese, Indian, American, Egyptian, Islamic, Christian, Buddhist, classical, modern, contemporary and more. The mission of the department is to provide rigorous art history training that crosses geopolitical, chronological and disciplinary boundaries. Our students learn how to look, contextualize and question arts in order to understand how visual forms make the social, political and private aspects of human existence tangible. You may recognize some of these works or you may not. We do not assume students to have prior knowledge in art history nor a studio art portfolio. We hope students enjoy the process of discovery to find out numerous unique and creative ways in which human beings respond and communicate with each other, how they react to the natural environment, how they express their ideas and emotions, and how our cultures and histories are formed and presented. We have many different levels of courses available to cater for different levels of experience and needs. There are undergraduate levels, the 1,000 to 4,000 level courses, which attracts 40 to 50 majors and minors every year. There are also higher level courses exclusive for our 20 art students in the master programs. And we also have smaller numbers of research postgraduate intakes for those who are extremely dedicated in research. If you take a closer look at this undergraduate course list, the variety of our courses is very exciting. Our strong team of teaching faculty offers a wide range of expertise to make this possible. Their expertise and more importantly their passion keep students explore their own interests during the time at HKU. You may notice the FINE F -I -N -E, as our course code. This has to do with the history of our department as we used to be called the Department of Fine Arts. Before I move on to introducing our current team of teaching faculty, our community and more, let's watch a short video on the history of this department. We, the Fine Arts Department, enter into our 40th decade by celebrating our history, our legacy and our future. Welcome to our Fine Arts Department. In 1965, Dr. Peter Lee put forward to the Senate the motion that, quote, in view of the increasing number of young students in Hong Kong going abroad for the study of music and other subjects and to meet the demands of the community, the University of Hong Kong should consider the establishment of a Department of Music and fine arts. However, it was not until 1978 when the Department of Fine Arts was finally established at the University of Hong Kong. It was headed by Professor Zhuang Shan, a Chinese art specialist, who was later joined by Carolyn Muir offering Western art history. This dynamic duo was later expanded to include Nina Carrasso and Professor Xu Xiao Yan. In the early beginnings, the department had a small-scale studio program and our teachers and students curated exhibitions, sometimes at a museum, but often in the fine arts classroom. Although we were still very small, with only a handful of majors, these were indeed very lively times. We were determined to expand, and like the little engine who could, we could and did indeed grow. We are now a strong team of eight, but we have not forgotten the many teachers who were here before. Wan Ching Li, Richard Stanley Baker, Rajaswari Ghosh, and Ofa Mansour. Although some of our former teachers cannot be here today, we salute their contributions. 
This year, we have eight full-time teaching faculty members, two part-time lecturers, as well as four affiliated teaching members. If you are curious about their current research interests, their publications, their projects, and activities within and beyond HKU, you may visit their individual page on our website to find out more. Art History Undergraduate Program. Our department is part of the School of Humanities under the Faculty of Arts. We do not admit students directly, no matter you are a dupus or a non-dupus candidate. Once you are admitted by the faculty, as a Hong Kong U student, you may choose our courses during the course selection period. One of the questions we often get asked is the system of major and minor. If you are unsure what to major, especially in your first year of study, try to get a taste of it by taking introductory courses from different departments. If you happen to miss out art history introductory course in your first year, it's okay, as long as you complete these official requirements listed on the BA syllabus, you will still be able to graduate with a major in art history. The arts faculty has developed a flexible curriculum structure which enables students to specialise in certain subject areas and to explore a wide range of interests. As you progress through the programme in art history, specialising in this subject, you will encounter increasing complexities of visual, literary and develop abilities to analyse, read and interpret works of art. Our programme begins with our two introductory courses, 101 Introduction to Western Art History and 108 Introduction to the Arts of Asia. The emphasis of learning is placed on developing an awareness and understanding of the canonical works. Students learn to identify and understand why they are historically important examples of human expression. Our 2000 level courses provide knowledge of established historical interpretations and include discussions of art theory and art historical scholarship in lectures and tutorials. Moving on to 3000 level courses, they are a mix of lectures and seminars. Topics or themes in these courses are streamlined. Materials in these courses draw upon an advanced range of methodologies and include interpretations that challenge established scholarship or advance its findings. Finally, our 4000 level capstone courses tend to be seminars. Students are immersed in intensive discussions and acquire critical approaches to art history as a discipline. In small groups, they investigate into art theory and evaluate the interpretations of canonical art history itself. Unlike other capstone seminars, one particular capstone courses take a very different form. It is our 4005 Art History Internship. Our internship program is a work placement scheme that gives students an opportunity to gain direct experience in a non-profit art institution. Students can apply skills that they learned in the classroom at a professional level and get a track record of working in the art field. This first time experience is going to make a great start in students' career development. The department works with various institutions to make this internship possible every year. Some of these opportunities even go beyond Hong Kong. The department is currently building up a network that can expose our students to some prestigious program in the exciting global context. First of its kind is the International Internship. Collaborated with Art Promotion Office, our students will have a chance to participate in the Ejiko Sumari Art Triennale in Japan and work for the Hong Kong House Project, which features outstanding works of selected Hong Kong artists. To prepare students for graduation, the department offers graduate study talks and invites outside experts to host practical workshops. Students will learn what makes a professional CV and how they can present the best version of themselves in interviews. Alumni are also invited back 
to share with our current students the latest career information and their own experiences. We have a very supportive community that includes not only alumni, but also professionals in the art field. Artists, curators, conservators, editors, art critics, journalists, art historians, museum or gallery directors, collectors, auctioneers, researchers, archivists, sponsoring individuals or cooperation representatives, etc. We are one part of a much larger art ecosystem. Students are exposed to this dynamic art community as they get into meeting inspiring individuals from all over the world. The department collaborates with different units within and beyond HKU to organize major public events. As much as we welcome the public to join our activities, some of the associated masterclasses and workshops are still exclusive to just our students. Academic prizes and travel grant awards enable our diligent students to explore even further by traveling abroad. Some of the trips are course related and are led by our teachers. But these travel grants support also individual trips. Students could go on a summer trip in Europe or on their own, to visit cathedrals, to attend a biennale, or to take a summer course and to go to museums in the US, or to take a summer internship in China. There are unlimited possibilities, but every single proposal could be the starting point of a life-changing opportunity. Let's hear what our travel grants awardees say. So I went on a trip with Dr. Kuhn and also a lot of students to Echigo Tsumari Triennale in Japan. Uh, we were so lucky we got funding from uh, the Museum Society, uh, so we actually didn't have to pay much ourselves. Actually, my first personal experience to a contemporary art festival, uh, and it was like super eye-opening because it filled a lot of gaps. And also it was my first encounter with site-specific art. My mind was really blown. It really got me to think if I wanted to work in the contemporary art world. For me, it's always very important to see the real object. I like the objects. To see the object, to feel the texture, and to see it at original scale is really different. And also participating in conference, uh, listening to um, world-renowned scholars talking about their research is all, always really inspiring. We help individuals to pursue their research dreams and become independent art historians. They will be the next generation of art specialists for Hong Kong and for the world. Please visit our official website arthistory.hku.hk to find out more about us. We are also on various social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, where there are stories about our students, updates on upcoming events, basically different facades of the department. Stay tuned and hope we will be able to welcome you sometime in the future.